Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Wow Butter Cupcakes with Cookie Dough Icing. Alright, so you can do these for any holiday. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, I just geared mine towards that. So you all, um, need cupcake liners and a cupcake tin. So I have these cute little hearts. And then you also need... Um, something to put on top. So I am using the Hershey Eds, the red ones for Valentine's Day. So for the actual cupcakes, you need a fourth a cup of butter softened, which is half a stick. Then you need a half a cup of the creamy wow butter. Then you need um, one cup of sugar. You need two eggs. You need um, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one and a half cups of flour, one and one fourth teaspoons of baking powder, one third cup of milk, um, any kind you like. I'm using the 2%. And then you need one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm using the mini because it calls for that and the um, icing, the frosting part. So I just thought I would just use those for the um, actual cupcakes too so I don't have to buy two bags. And then um, you need, that's it, just one cup of the semi-sweet chocolate chips. So that's it for all of the cupcakes. So now for the cookie dough frosting, you need eight ounces of cream cheese, and you want that softened. And it says on the directions, do not use fat-free or reduced fat. You want the full fat cream cheese for these. Then you need a half a cup of butter softened, which is one stick. Then you need a half a cup of the creamy wow butter. So all together, you're going to be using one cup total of the creamy wow butter. Then you need one to two cups of powdered sugar. So um, when you get to that part, I'll tell you why it's one to two. Then you need three tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use the light or the dark. It doesn't matter. Then we need three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of quick cooking oats, and then, like I said, the Hersheyettes, and then three-fourths cup of mini chocolate chips. So let's go ahead and get started. Line your cupcake tin with your liners and then preheat your oven to 350. All right, so next we are gonna take an electric mixer and mix all of our ingredients for our cupcakes except for the chocolate chips. So that was your butter, your wow butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla, flour, baking powder, and your milk. And we're just gonna beat that with an electric mixer until it's well combined. That is pretty well combined. So next we are gonna just um, fold in our chocolate chips, the one cup with a spoon. Okay, our chocolate chips are all folded in. So now we are just gonna fill up our cupcake liners two thirds of the way full. All right, those are ready to go into the oven for 20 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And just so you know, the dough is more like cookie dough than it is cupcake batter. So it is very thick. All right, the cup cupcakes are out and they are cooling off. We want those to cool completely before we put the frosting on. So go ahead and take your wow butter, your cream cheese, and your butter and mix that with an electric mixer until well combined. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to mix in our brown sugar, our tablespoons of flour, our vanilla, and our oats. Next, we want to add our powdered sugar one cup at a time. So you might want to actually do one cup and then a half a cup, and then if you need to, another half a cup for a total of two, if you need to. It should work with one and a half. You just want it to um, thicken it up a bit. All right, that is my desired thickness. I used about, I used one and a half cups of the powdered sugar, so it's up to you if you want to add that extra half a cup or not. Now we're going to just add in our chocolate chips and our Hersheyettes with a spoon. All right, after your cookie dough um, icing is ready to go onto your cupcakes and your cupcakes have cooled down, you just take a... You can either take a cookie scooper or an ice cream scoop, and you just want to put a big, huge glob on top of each cupcake. All right, these are all ready to go. I don't even know how I'm going to get a lid on these things. They are giant. Let's see what Taste Tester thinks. All right, Taste Tester, have a little taste. We gave him a fork because these things are so big. Mmm, yum, yummy. Do you like it? Uh -huh. All right, everyone, come back and see us again, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.